beautiful world. So today I had an appointment with my neurologist and we're going to see about adding a medication, Aptium. Um, pretty much because I've practically tried everything else and I'm still getting seizures. Like, I mean, sleeping 12 hours and like consistently doing it like getting enough sleep each night and like actually sleeping at night and not like during the day has definitely helped to um, decrease um, my tonic clonic seizures but I'm still pretty much having quite a few for like you know their seizures it's, still pretty crazy um so yeah I'm gonna see if I'm gonna try that um, it's quite a bit of side effects and a lot of warnings so I'm just gonna see if I can try and avoid those if possible Taking folic acid, I guess, helps a lot. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. This past week hasn't been the greatest for me um, in terms of mood um, because, as you ladies know, especially the ones with epilepsy, it is uh, for a few days every month we tend to have. A little bit of a moody temperament and being on anti-epileptics especially Keppra um, it really messes with your mood so this week I've been pretty moody and I have been acting out giving her attitude and kind of making uh, rude remarks that I thought were fun at the moment, but clearly she didn't think was fun. So I guess that's kind of how I am, I guess. Sometimes I'll make jokes that I think are absolutely hilarious. But then other people don't think they're funny. Uh, that they're just rude, I guess. But some comedians will say that that's because those people don't have a sense of humor. And I guess that could be part of the case. Or maybe just, you know, some people are just sensitive. Uh, sensitive of other stuff. And some people will would take that joke and just laugh it off. So, I don't know. Some people are different. Today in particular, um, not so good in terms of mood. Uh, I had a headache pretty much all day and nausea. And or nausea, however you pronounce it. I went to the doctors, like I said, today. And after that, like I, was, I got really hungry today. And I guess that's kind of because I had oatmeal for breakfast, so I'm not like really used to oatmeal for breakfast. And you know, oatmeal, kind of goes through your system pretty quick. Your body absorbs it pretty quick, so you get hungry quite quick. Quick? Quite, quite soon after. 
So because I was hungry, that added to the moodiness, which was not great. Uh, as those of you who have experienced hanger have definitely known and apologized for me. Um, I went out to do some stuff. I can't remember. I remember just feeling sad pretty much all day. But not like really having a reason for it. That's obviously the depression. Just feeling sad all day. Tired, but like not tired, you know, because I had sleep, but just kind of, I wouldn't call it lazy because like I, I, I did stuff, I wanted to get stuff done, but I mean, I just kind of felt like, like I wanted to curl up in a ball and just be under my covers and just hug myself and like hug Debbie, my dog, because he gives the best hugs. <laughs> I guess he can put his paws around me and it feels like a real hug. Real, real good hug. And I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting day. Uh, there were moments of outbursts today, and part of it was because, um, and, and this is with my mom, moments of outbursts with my mom, um, part of it was because there were certain things that she said certain things that she does that just stress me out and I was trying to get her to not do them um but I would say a lot of it was just the fact that I have my own issues and The reason I got upset from what she said, I guess most of the reason why I got upset was just my own issues and constantly feeling like I am I wouldn't say stuck, but Trapped. I guess this is the same as stuck. <sighs> but stuck in the same, not routine, because I guess I can, can pretty much just easily change my routine. But stuck in the same cycle of just wanting to get things done. And then, when I do get things done, I end up having a ton of chronic seizure because when I get things done, I end up over-exhausting myself. Not just exhausting myself, but over-exhausting myself. And then I end up having seizures, uh, whether they're just a bunch of absence seizures or a chronic chronic seizure. It sucks. And... I just want to be better. I want to be a better person. I want to be able to calm myself down uh, and register in my brain before anything comes out of my mouth. Before I have an outburst. Before I freak out. And from what I've seen, 
what I've read and you know all the information that I've gotten. I seem to be having anxiety attacks or panic attacks. Um, and that's what those outbursts tend to be. So, like, I mean, that that's what they look like. They look, to me, like they're anxiety attacks. I just want to be better. I just, for me personally, I just feel like I'm constantly failing when I'm trying. I'm trying to do my best. And it's no one's fault for the reason that I feel like I'm failing. It's just, I guess my self-esteem is it's at a point where I'm just worrying for no reason. Stressing out over unimportant things. That's something I definitely have to work on. So yeah. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Bye. Also, if you're experienced any of this stuff or if you've tried Aptium, then please comment down below and uh, if you tried Aptium, let me know how it was. If you've experienced this, please tell me sorry because I really don't want to feel like I'm alone in this. Love you guys.